Hello students, in today's video we are going to study physiological functions of prolactin. We will also discuss regulation of secretion of prolactin by prolactin inhibiting hormone that is uh, PIH also known as dopamine. Now prolactin in short PRL is a peptide hormone. It is made up of 199 amino acids. Prolactin is also known as lactogenic hormone. Now lacto refers to milk as milk consists of carbohydrate known as lactose and genesis means synthesis. So lactogenic hormone or prolactin is required for the synthesis of milk. Now very important prolactin is a hormone that is synthesized in the blood by anterior pituitary gland. So this is anterior pituitary that synthesizes and that releases prolactin in the blood. Prolactin is a hormone that is essential for the synthesis of milk. So prolactin has two main important functions. First is the breast development during pregnancy and another important function is the lactation that is production of milk by the mammary glands in females after the delivery of child. Now let's see to the normal uh, physiological serum levels of prolactin that is levels of prolactin in the blood. In males serum prolactin levels range from 2 to 18 nanogram per ml while in non-pregnant and non-lactating females prolactin levels range from 2 to 30 nanogram per ml. In females during the third trimester of pregnancy serum prolactin levels rise and range from 10 to 210 nanogram per ml. During pregnancy, increased prolactin induces growth and development of breast, but high levels of estrogen and progesterone, that is the female reproductive hormones, prevent the production of milk. But after delivery and childbirth, the levels of estrogen and progesterone drop and increased prolactin induces synthesis of milk by the alveolar cells in the breast. Now in addition to this increased prolactin also suppresses hypothalamo pituitary gonadal axis. Now let's understand physiological functions and regulation of prolactin with the help of diagrams. Now look at this figure. It explains regulation of prolactin secretion. Now this is hypothalamus. It is a zoomed view of hypothalamus located at the base of brain just below the thalamus and above the pituitary gland. Now as we all know pituitary gland has two lobes anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary. Now prolactin is synthesized by the cells called as lactotrophs present in the anterior pituitary. The number of lactotrophs increase during pregnancy as prolactin prepares the breast for lactation after the childbirth. Now very important PRH that is the prolactin releasing hormone is released from the hypothalamus. It stimulates the lactotrophs and increase secretion of prolactin. While PIH that is the prolactin inhibiting hormone also called as dopamine is also released from hypothalamus but it inhibits uh, the synthesis of prolactin and it reduces the blood serum levels of prolactin. Now here uh, stimulation is shown by green arrow while inhibition is shown in red. So as per the requirement of prolactin by the body, PRH and PIH regulate serum levels of prolactin. Now in order to understand functions of prolactin, let's discuss in brief uh, anatomy of uh, mammary gland or breast. So look at this figure. Each breast is made up of number of glandular structures called as lobules. So these are the lobules. Now lobules consist of alveolar cells. So these alveolar cells are present in the lobules. 
Now, so uh, lobules consist of uh, alveolar cells where the milk is synthesized. And the lobules also consist of myoepithelial cells. Now, contraction of myoepithelial cells causes release of milk from the lobules. That is, uh, it causes ejection of the milk from the lobules or letdown of the milk. Now, these lobules, they open up into tiny ducts that drain towards the nipple from where the milk is sucked by the baby. Uh, now, very important, you must remember that there are two hormones essential for the process of lactation. One is the prolactin and the other is the oxytocin. Now, prolactin is essential for the synthesis of milk in the alveolar cells of the lobules, while oxytocin is essential for the ejection or letdown of the milk from the breast due to the contraction of myoepithelial cells. These myoepithelial cells are also present in the lobules. Now let's discuss the stimuli that causes increased serum prolactin levels. The primary and the most important stimulus is the suckling. Now suckling by the baby stimulates as shown here uh, in the green color. Suckling stimulates release of PRH that is the prolactin releasing hormone and this prolactin releasing hormone as we have already discussed stimulate the release of prolactin. At the same time suckling also inhibits the release of dopamine that is the prolactin inhibiting hormone from the hypothalamus. So overall this increases the serum prolactin levels. Now in addition to this hypothyroidism that is the reduced functioning of thyroid gland stimulates increased release of TRH that is the thyrotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. TRH also stimulates the release of prolactin. So suckling by the baby and hypothyroidism increase the blood levels of prolactin. Now let's summarize physiological functions of prolactin. As already discussed, increased prolactin during pregnancy induce the development of breast. Then prolactin induces synthesis of milk and is essential for the lactation. Now in addition to this very important, increased serum prolactin during pregnancy and lactation cause infertility which is responsible for the physiological natural contraception seen in women several months after the childbirth. Now let's see how this uh, uh, infertility is caused. Now look here, increased prolactin during lactation suppresses hypothalamopituitary gonadal axis. Now, this inhibits the release of GnRH that is gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. Now, this further reduces the release of FSH that is a follicle stimulating hormone and LH that is luteinizing hormone from anterior pituitary. Now, reduced FSH and reduced LH causes amenorrhea that is absence of menstruation. Further it causes inhibition of ovulation and this results in infertility for several months postpartum that is after the delivery of child. So this is all about the functions and regulation of secretion of prolactin. If you find the video useful kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.